Hi there, this is Kenneth Stahl, and I'm here to uh, start off by saying that nobody likes it when somebody tells you that you're not good at something. When they say that you could be doing better at this or that, or they try to pick at you, pick at your life and your decisions that you've made, and just say that it's not quite good enough. Um, so in this video, I want to kind of give you some guidance on how to manage uh, and receive criticism when people tell you those types of things. Um, and there are two extremes um, on the spectrum of how to receive this criticism. On one end of the spectrum, uh, we have a person who says, I'm not going to listen to what anybody else tells me to do. Um, I'm just going to go my own way, try to figure things out for myself, and just do whatever I want to do. And not even listen to what people tell you, you know, you could improve on, or what is wrong with you. Um, and the other end of the spectrum is somebody who tries so hard to fix everything that is supposedly wrong with them because other people tell you that you're not good at something or that you need to improve in many areas. Um, but what's wrong with both of them is with the first person, uh, you don't listen to any of anybody when they try to help you out. Um, that's bad because people are there to try to help you out, to give you advice. You know, there are some people who have, who have been there and done that and they might actually know what's best. So it would be beneficial for you to listen to them. Um, the, other, the other person um, who tries so hard to fix so many things about themselves will eventually get overwhelmed with all of the things that are thrown at them to a point where you just can't you know, fix every little thing about you. And the person who is um, in that situation, who tries so hard to be perfect and listen to what other people say about you, um, you kind of have to... Uh, listen to those people who tell you that you cannot please everybody. I mean, there's a reason why people tell you that you shouldn't try to please everybody, because it is basically impossible. Um, but when you do try to do that, um, you start, um, obviously you will fail, so you will get to the point where you feel like you're not good enough. You will feel inadequate, you will feel like a failure, and you will start hating yourself because you feel like you're not good enough. And when you start hating yourself, um, you start looking at the world, thinking that the world is unfair, and you start hating the world. And not only that, but you also begin to hate other people. You hate others because all they have is negative feedback to give to you. You know, you're never good enough. And when you hate yourself, when you hate the world, and when you hate other people, that is going to leave you completely unmotivated to, to do anything productive. So, by learning how to manage criticism, how to receive that feedback that, you know, uh, is uh, supposed to try to fix you, um, you need to, you know, not try to do that, you know, because it will le uh, lead you to be more productive um, if you do actually know how to manage everything. Um, you know, and I was thinking about this. Uh, idea um, the past few days and one of the things that you know the reason why I actually got interested in this is because I realized that we will be receiving some sort of criticism or negative feedback from other people our entire lives and it's always going to be this way you know it started out when you were a kid and your parents always told you what to do they told you what to believe they told you what decisions to make where to go how to live what clothes you should wear and they shaped you. They, they made you who you are. Your parents or whoever was in your life. And, you know, it doesn't just stop there. It does still occur later on in life. You know, it might be the person who you're in a relationship with. It might still be your parents and it might be your friends. Um, and that is why I believe it is so important for you to understand how to, uh, uh, and how to actually receive criticism and manage it well. Um, like I said, there are those two extremes, and s the actual probably best way to handle everything is somewhere in the middle. Because you cannot ignore everything that everybody tells you. You know, sometimes people are there for a good reason to tell you some things that you could improve on. But at the same time, you know, you cannot um, do everything that everybody tells you to do. You can't fix everything about you. You can't, you know, there you sometimes have to realize that you are okay the way that you are. You know, there isn't really that 
much of a need to get better at certain things. Or sometimes people will point out a problem that they see with you when in fact it might just be better to leave that problem the way it is and um, live with it. Um, you know, some people have told me in the past that I need to be more social. I need to be more organized. I need to be a lot of things. And while that is very true, you know, there is always room to work on, you know, organization skills, uh, social skills, um, you know, managing your money better. It's not necessary um, to get to be a master at those things. Um, like I said, it is helpful, but it's not necessary. So you need to somehow come to grips with the idea that you can still be okay with what you have. Um, and this is kind of a tug-of-war battle between, you know, this idea of peace and this idea of progress. You know, should we just be all, everything's okay, or should we all be, everything is not okay, we need to keep getting better? Because everybody needs to try to be more progressive, uh, to be more productive, to get to a higher level in your life than you are at right now. But if you try so hard to get to that point when it's overwhelming or impossible, you need to step back and say, it's okay the way it is. You, I hope that you understand what I'm saying here. Um, and this all relates to your attitude towards other people when they give you the criticism in life. You know, they call it constructive criticism meant to make you better, um, but it can really come across sometimes as uh, a downer, a negative thing. Um, and, you know, you, you know, you just have to remember that you cannot let people push you around and telling you how to live your life. You need, you need to be the one to judge what's best for you. Um, sometimes I see a lot of time with girls who are in a relationship with guys, especially when they're younger, their parents or their friends will always tell them, you know, that guy isn't good for you, you know, you know, you know, that guy has so many problems, you need to break up with him and find somebody different who's better for you. And while there is a lot of truth in the things people tell you, unless it's a case where you're being abused, unless it's a case where something is just so dramatic that it's just, it, it probably would be the right choice to leave a guy for somebody else, there are some times when you need to say, it's okay with what is wrong supposedly, um, I can deal with it. Because there are girls out there, and I'm sure you've observed this, who, who, or even guys, who break up with the person they're with because they find a problem with them. And if you'll know anything about human beings, you'll know that we're not perfect. We all have flaws and mistakes about us. Um, so if you always find a problem with something, and leave it for something different, there's always going to be a new problem. There are always going to be new problems in our life. And you need to find a way to judge when, you know, you don't need to completely, um, you know, dis, you know, dis get rid of something just because there's a problem um, for something different. And that that is all determined by if it's worth it or not. And you have to be the judge of whether things are worth it or not. So that is how you should be thinking um, and that should be what your attitude is when somebody tells you you're not good at something or somebody tells you you know that you could be better at something. Um, you have to be the judge of it but don't ever take um, the path of not listening to other people. I mean, it is a huge, uh, you know, it's a huge gray area on making decisions. And this all has to do with your ability to make decisions in your life. And, um, you know, if you know anything about me and what I'm trying to do, I'm just trying to be here to be the guy to help you out, to, to give you some good advice on how to make decisions in your life that will pay off and be the most beneficial for you. I'm also concerned with your happiness and, you know, just how you're feeling. So, um, don't get too stressed out by everything in life. Um, 
I'm glad to be here, I'm glad to be on YouTube giving you advice. So if you like this video, uh, please leave a comment and like it and subscribe to my channel. And if you subscribe to me, then I will see you in my next video that I upload. Have a great day.